Hey guys! So I thought um, I would film in the guinea pig cage today. Um, I just cleaned them out and here's a tip for you. Never do this. Never sit in the guinea pig cage unless you clean it out first. So that's to today's top tip. So um, what is today's video about? Well, I thought I'd do a frequently asked questions. So all the questions that I've gotten over the years or that I get on Facebook or any of my other social channels. Um, and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. I hope I haven't really written anything down, so I'm just going to go by what I remember. So let's talk about uh, my channel name. So let's talk about my channel's name first. So my channel is called Zoe Babies, and you may wonder if I'm Zoe. No, I'm not Zoe. Um, Zoe wasn't even my first guinea pig. She was my Maya twin girl, Chloe. Molly, Kaylee, Jenny, Betty, Bonnie, Zoe, my ninth guinea pig. So, um, so Zoe was my ninth guinea pig that I gotten, um, and she was a silver wax, uh, absolutely stunning um, guinea pig. And I had her for probably about six years, I think. Um, we got her in 2008, and um, soon after we got her, uh, we realized she was pregnant and we had been made aware of when we adopted her that she could be pregnant and she had babies um, and I filmed the little babies and I wanted my family to see them so my husband said why don't you upload the video to YouTube and I didn't really know what YouTube was about and he did it all for me and he said what do you want to call your channel? I had honestly no idea and the only thing I was thinking about was guinea pig babies, Zoe's babies. So it was called Zoe's babies, Zoe babies. So that's the name of my, sh my channel, Zoe babies. So I'm not Zoe, Zoe is a much bigger star than me. Um, which incidentally, um, she was called Star before we got her, we renamed her to Zoe. So that's my channel. So what's my channel about? Well, I guess most of you will know what my channel is about, or at least you will have guessed from either the title or the wee picture at the front, the wee screen grab. Uh, my channel is all about my guinea pigs, mostly about my guinea pigs. Um, and that's one of the questions I got recently when I showed some pictures of my hedgehog, uh, my pygmy hedgehog on Facebook. Why is there a picture of a pygmy hedgehog? Had shock when my cage is all about guinea pigs. Well, it is all about guinea pigs, but it's also about stuff that goes on around the guinea pigs, right? So if I film a haul um, and I show you stuff for the guinea pigs, you may actually not see the guinea pigs in that video. Yes, it's stuff for the guinea pigs. Um, and in a similar way, our pygmy hedgehog Hillary is now living in our house and she's part of our animal family. And um, her cage is actually sitting next to a tray where the skinny pigs will sit on that heater. So she's part of the, the setup that we have. And, you know, she's one of my pets and I want to show her because she's so cute. Um, so, you know, there will be different things that may touch on guinea pigs, vaguely touch on guinea pigs. So you may see different videos. Um, and I have a few different things planned for this year as well. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do that yet or not, but we see how it goes. Um, so while this channel is mostly about guinea pigs, there may be other stuff as well. And I hope eventually I get a better video filmed of Hillary, um, because she's so cute. Oh, I love her to bits. The only thing is, um, I'm a morning person. Um, I'm not. I'm not good when it's dark outside. I I get tired when it's dark outside, which in Scotland it gets dark really early in the winter. It's a bit of a problem. Anyway, um, so I'm a morning person. I'm not very much an evening or night person. Hilary gets up during the night, so I'm not quite sure yet how we're going to do the whole thing. Oh, Natasha! Yeah, and you little Natasha. Well, not so little about you, eh? Oh, little pretty voice. We thought you were pregnant, but it turns out you're just fat, aren't you? You're just a chunky guinea pig. Mm. Although fat is a really good term, isn't it? You're a big boat. And you're absolutely perfect. And you're never coming near me again, are you? Because you don't like this. Mm. Up, up, up. I still 
can't believe you're not pregnant. Anyway, um, so yes, I'm hoping to film some Pygmy Hedgehog videos. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to go yet. So another question I get asked frequently is, um, are all my guinea pigs? I say all, not that you can see any, I mean. Come on, one of you. Uh, people quite like the look of you. Mm -hmm. So, um, I quite often get asked, uh, are all your guinea pigs... You've gotten quite chunky over the years, you know that. Oh, yeah, again. So I get asked quite often uh, whether I have both boy and girl guinea pigs, and no, I just have female guinea pigs. I do not have any boys, and I don't intend for that to change. Um, I quite like that my guinea pigs can all live together in a herd. Um, it makes it easier for me, because um, looking after my guinea pigs is not my main... You wanna go? Aww. you go. You cannot jump yourself. Uh, not f yeah, you silly rat. You do not like me. I don't know. don't know what I've ever done to you. You like me on the other hand. You do like me. Uh, but not today. Not because the camera is on, so you don't like me. Go on. I'm not eating you. So yeah, I quite like that all my guinea pigs can live together. Um, and it makes it a lot easier for me as well. I just have the one cage to clean. Well, now with the... Pygmy Hedgehog, I have another cage to clean and I have a tray where the skinny pigs sit. But it makes it easier for me because I work full time, I study for masters part time, um, so there's not an awful lot of time to do other things. Um, so I quite like that I can have a big herd um, and that's why all my pigs are female. So what else do people ask me? So the other thing you may wonder is when I first got guinea pigs. So I got my first guinea pig when I was 15, I think, um, and I had a number of guinea pigs then. Um, and then when, uh, obviously, I came to study in Scotland, um, I didn't have any guinea pigs then. My parents still had guinea pigs at the time, I believe. Um, and then I met my now husband, got married, went to London. So in London we actually had hamsters, we didn't have guinea pigs. And the plan was to move back up to Scotland um, and then maybe get a rabbit. But we kind of decided against a rabbit and we thought, well, let's get a couple of guinea pigs, let's have them in the garden. You look very, very skinny. Yeah, you're too tiny. Will you put some beef on for me, hmm? I do not like seeing your hipsies. What's up with you? Eh? So, um, we kind of decided against rabbits and so we went for guinea pigs and we wanted a couple to live in the garden. Needless to say, um, they never went outside to live in the garden. Uh, they may go outside in the summer, but um, they are indoor guinea pigs. Um, and that brings me on to the next topic, are my guinea pigs outdoor or indoor guinea pigs, they're completely indoors. Um, I have two guinea pigs and they can't live outside full time and I'm not really in favour of guinea pig living outside. I know a lot of people think it can work. Um, it's not something that I subscribe to. Um, if it works out for you, great. Um, at least try and get them in in the winter, especially when you live in Scotland. Um, that's yeah, so I don't want to get into all that. Um, so what else? How many guinea pigs do I have? Well, I currently have eight guinea pigs. And let me bring my list up on my phone so I can tell you how old they each are. So, yeah, I keep a, a list of... Um, So I keep a list of all my guinea pigs and when they were roughly born um, on my phone. Um, I say roughly born because all my piggies that I have at the moment are um, rescue guinea pigs so we don't actually know when they were born. I'm lying, I have one guinea pig from a breeder. So Pew, the first guinea pig's on here, 
we got in July, or we think she was born around July 2012. I did have her exact birthday, I don't know where I put it. Um, but yeah, we adopted her, well we bought her from a breed actually, and she is the white one there, she's a pink eyed white. Frankie, um, I reckon was born in December 2012. Frankie is the black guinea pig with kind of a mohawk on her back. Anya, the black skinny you saw earlier on, was uh, born in June 2013. Based on her age, we think Sam, the buff skinny pig, was born in December 2012. Peggy Sue, black and white short haired guinea pig was born in July 2012. Lucy, the Lemon Duty, that I can't see anywhere, I think, no, you're not there, don't know where she is, but I had her in my arms early on. So Lucy was born in July 2012. Natasha, the big, huge, so, so pretty, uh, black and white Swiss guinea pig, so as, I'll come back to Swiss guinea pigs later. So Natasha was born in March 2014, which is a wild guess. Sarah Jane, the ginger Swiss over there, was born in March 2014. Again, a wild guess, but presumably um, Natasha and Natasha and Sarah Jane, we think, may be from the same place. So we adopted them at the same time, so that's what we think they are. So as far as breeds goes, I wish I have a, had a prop here, you know? I think you at least you're going to hide behind the cardboard, aren't you? Anyway, so what breeds do I have? Well, I have a pink-eyed white with slight and very slight um, uh, Himalayan markings. I got a, what do you call your breed again, Frankie? Oh, a, a black Ridgeback, so her fur goes up in the middle. Um, we got a Lemon Acuity, a short-haired Lemon Acuity. We got a short-haired black and white English short hair? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that good with my weeds, I have to say. Did I mention the two skinny pigs? So those are the hairless ones. And then we have two Swiss skinny pigs. Now, Swiss skinny pigs was quite a new breed to me. Um, I think they are a cross between Rexes and Hedys. So their hair is coarser, um, kind of similar to Lakelands, which Wherever Pew has gone, she is actually Lakeland, that means she has skinny pig carrier genes. So skinny pig carriers, i.e. Lakelands, and Swisses or Rexes and Teddies, they have coarser hair. Um, and the Swiss, while the Rexes hair go like normal directions, i.e. away from their head, the Swiss and the Teddies, uh, their hair goes kind of up towards their head. So that is Swiss skinny pigs. I'm just trembling on today. I hope this video is alright. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I've am i been sick for a few weeks and now I'm just making excuses. So those are the guinea pigs breeds. Um, where do they live? Well, they live in this place here. So off the kitchen we have this weird area and because we are not the eaves, it kind of goes like that down the way. So you can actually only stand upright in the middle and it's quite a big area. So no one really knows what to do with this. I mean, when we came and see the house, uh, the previous owner said, yeah, don't know what to do with it. And we instantly saw guinea pig cage, yeah. So it's pretty cool because it's off the kitchen. So we interact quite a lot with them. They have peace and quiet. Um, we don't waste any space in our house with cages because God knows what you could do with this area. So it's perfect. Um, as far as the cage, goes we have I say we I use that term loosely I haven't really helped build it but my husband and my father-in-law built this cage uh, for us um, so it's a wooden cage um, 
the wooden floor, wooden side, and then we put lino over the wood to protect the wood. Um, and this lino we can take out every few years and replace it with new lino, which is what I've done in my last page. I, when I first started out, I had pet shop cages, and I never actually had my pet shop cages closed. They were always open, so the pigs could run out, and there just wasn't enough space. I mean, they cost me fortune, and most guinea pig owners will have gone through this. They cost so much, and they're so useless. We then ended up with a CNC cage, and I love the CNC cages, but again, not my favorite cage. Um, I prefer the, the wood built ones because you get less dirt falling behind it and they're a bit more sturdy, especially when you come to build longer cages where you need to glue the coax together. Hello! Yeah, you're so poorly. So, yeah, that's the cage. What else can you want? The covered weeds, guinea pig ages, guinea pigs. Yes, um, controversial question, do you buy your guinea pigs or do you get rescued guinea pigs? Well, I've done everything um, and in the end I think every guinea pig deserves a good home. Um, that for me is the most important thing, uh, having a good home. I mean, they're all lovely, right? So, uh, my preference is to adopt guinea pigs and when I can, I will. Um, so I've got a friend who used to run a guinea pig rescue um, and she still kind of gets rescued pigs every so often so that's where I get most of my guinea pigs from. Uh, I've gotten guinea pigs, well the first few guinea pigs I actually had I bought from Pets at Home um, and they just lived as happy and long as the others. Um, I think that, yeah, after that, those first few guinea pigs I never bought from a pet shop again. So I then uh, got guinea pigs from a rescue up north in Scotland. I then met my friend and um, I got a lot of guinea pigs from her. I got guinea pigs over three ads. Um, and then Pew is the only guinea pig that we ever bought from a breeder and it was a really small scale breeder and that's because we really really wanted a Himalayan um, I wanted to get a Himalayan guinea pig for my husband who always wanted a Himalayan guinea pig and you know this is my hobby but he helps me out so much and I thought well if he really wants a Himalayan guinea pig he should have that well Pew never turned into a Himalayan but we love her just as much and she's perfect the way she is so Bottom line, I think every guinea pig deserves a good home. If you can, please adopt from a rescue place or from free ads rather than buy from a pet shop. Um, equally, I don't think it's fair and I've seen this happening back in the days when I was still on guinea pig forums when I first started out. I've seen people that got guinea pigs, bought them from pet shop, went onto a forum for advice and got nothing but abuse because they bought from a pet shop. Now that I think is just so, so nasty and horrible and I, you know, these people came to get help and they got shot at that and I don't think that's fair. In the end it doesn't matter, right? where your pig comes from you have to look after your guinea pig and you need if you need help to look after your guinea pigs you should be able to get that so that was a longer bottom line than i thought it was so let me start again my bottom line is try and adopt from either a rescue or from free ads if you can right so what's next Is there anything I don't like about my cage? Questions are getting more and more random. Um, I do love my cage, it's brilliant. I do love my water bottle stand. It's great when there's two water bottles on it. Um, but unless both myself and my husband are away and uh, my parents-in-law are looking after the guinea pigs. Um, so unless that's the case, we don't need two water bottles. I prefer having just one water bottle. It's big, massive and I fill it up every day. So um, the, the stand is a bit of a pain when there's only one water bottle because I keep forgetting it's there because it's transparent and I fall over it. Um, so that's 
my own stupidity more than anything else. I don't think I've looked at you guys at all during this video, so hello, sorry if I haven't looked into the camera at all. Um, this is a random video. So what else? Oh no, see you so pretty. Yes, one question I got, um, and I kind of answered that on my Facebook, but I'll talk a bit about it. Um, and I get asked quite often, um, people say, how do you manage to have all these guinea pigs living together? Well, um, I have female guinea pigs, and I believe I never had boy guinea pigs. Um, well, I did when I was a teenager, but it's kind of, I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't know so much about guinea pigs back then, so I don't think that now looking back I wouldn't be so proud of, so I didn't know that much about them. But now, you know, let's talk about now, now. So I don't have any boy guinea pigs, I don't really know how we go about introducing boys to each other. Um, and I believe females are a lot easier to introduce, most females that is. Um, I had a couple, uh, yes Fiona. Um, so I had a couple of female guinea pigs that were really hard to introduce, but mostly it works well. Um, and I think over the years, because I must have way over must have had way over thirty guinea pigs by now. So over the years, I came up with a way that works great for me. Now, I, I can't promise you this works for everybody. Um, it works great for me because I have a large cage, because I know my guinea pigs well. And um, I know a lot about guinea pig behavior and signs of aggression, so um, it works for me. Um, and you can, I'll describe you, to you how I introduce them and then you can pick and choose what you want from them. So what I like to do when I get new guinea pigs, I like to introduce them in the evenings. And the reason I do that is because um, I will not feed my hurt in the mornings, apart from hay, they obviously have hay, and they will have pellets, but I won't give them fresh vegetables, Ugh. I won't give them fresh vegetables, so um, they will get their pellets and their hay, but they won't get any fresh greens, and they get vegetables twice a day, so I skip the morning meal, and then when I'm about to introduce the new guinea pigs, I will put down a mountain of vegetables for the piggies. And that will mean that they are hungry, they want their veggies, they concentrate on their veggies, they you know, have a thing around it, and then uh, by the time they're done eating, they're generally quite full and lazy, and they're not so intent on chasing the newcomers. And then that kind of seems to work well. And then the next day it's almost more of a, oh, I suppose I should chase you now, because you need to know your packing order, but it's not a big deal then anymore. So, um, I make sure the cage is quite empty. The way it's just now is perfect. So I've just got some fleas straight over here. There's actually fruit still on that here and I will probably remove that. Um, make sure the cage is clear. There's nowhere for guinea pigs to hide or get stuck in. Cause the last thing you want to do is for the new piggy to go into a house and for a bullish existing piggy to go right after her and scare the living hell out of her. So that you don't want to happen. So try and keep the cage clear. Leave that stuff, all the hidey house, houses out for a good few days. Um, there will be some chasing. Um, it's a matter of knowing do you need to interfere or not. I find generally with the girls they sort themselves out. Yes, they might kind of jump at each other, but um, they won't draw blood. They may pull some hair out if it's really bad, but I've never seen any of mine draw blood apart from once. I think. Um, so with the girls it's a bit easier. Obviously if they draw blood then they say do not try it again, just have them live next to each other in cages so they can still see each other, smell each other but not get to each other. But as I said with the girls I've never ever had that problem um, and I found this works out great for me. Hello Frankie! No oh, hawk. Oh. Sorry. So yeah. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the description box below or leave me a comment on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you are. Um, you can find all those links in the description box. Um, please, if this video was at all useful or mildly amusing, please give it a thumbs up. 
and um, if you already subscribed to my channel thank you very much um, if you haven't subscribed yet please do so it's great I love seeing like emails pop up saying I have new subscribers it's always good fun um, and I think that's pretty much it I really don't know how to end my videos anyway that's all from us today bye bye and I'll see you next time <coughs> oh I'm so sorry pigs Oh, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You want to give me a little bit with me? Yeah? Want to give me a little with me? So today, um, I want to... No, you want to move. Hey, guys. Just give me a flaps. Hey, guys. So I thought we'd do a quick... Who's these children? Pew? <laughs> Thank you! Hey guys! So I thought today we could do a quick... Um... It's not going to be quick, is it? Hey guys! Um, I'm sitting in the guinea pig cage today um, and here's... What do you want? Oh! Uh! That's not critical care time yet. That's at 8 o'clock, you little nutter. Eat some hay. No, you're not liking the hay very much, are you? I need to find new hay for you. Anyway, let me take my phone before you start eating that. Just clean the cage. Ew. There's that poo up there. Hey, guys. <laughs> are you going to wind up your time or say hey, guys? <laughs>